So as always, I'm going to prime my lids with Benefit Stay Don't Stray. And you'll want to prime underneath as well just because we're going to be adding a lot of pigment and glitter and you really want it to adhere to your lid. So just go ahead and prime. Now on a shadow brush, I'm going to be mixing this light pink color with this hot pink right down here. And I'm going to be working this onto my lid. This is going to be a base for all the pink glitter that we're about to apply. So make sure you pack it on very well. That way you won't be able to see any skin underneath the glitter. Now I'm going to be taking my Hello Kitty Pretty palette and I'm going to be working this deep brown shade into my crease. I was originally going to go for a pinky purple eye, but I figured that since the other eye will be zombified and will be purple with deep blues and uh, black and red as well, I figured it'd be best to contrast the eyes, so I'm just going to make this more of like a pinky smoky eye. Next, on the same Hello Kitty palette, I'm going to be taking this light pink just to use as a highlight underneath my brow bone. So I'm just going to work that into my brow bone and blend away. I don't want to have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to be taking my lit kit in the pink one, which is pretty in pink, and I'm going to work this pink glitter onto my lid. So I'm just going to tap it just so there's no fallout on my face and I don't have glitter everywhere. Because then that would be a total disaster. Now with that same matte brown color, I'm going to work it again into my crease just to get as rid of as much sparkle as I possibly can, and I'm also going to work it underneath my waterline, but I'm not going to go all the way because we want to have this very, very bright. We're going to apply a white liner afterwards. Now I'm going to take these very doll-like lashes and apply them with some glue, but I'm only going to apply it to the one eye because the other eye is going to be zombified. So all I did was I applied my lashes, applied some mascara, applied some white liner on my tight line, and some white eyeshadow in the inner tear duct, and you are done your ballerina eyes. So if you wanted to be just a ballerina, then you could do this to both sides of your face, and you would be complete. So this is a final look. For the left side of my face, I just did regular foundation, concealer, and contour. I actually have a couple of videos up showing you how I do my face makeup. But for this side, we want it to be zombified. So I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I'm going to start drawing the line. And this is going to work as a double primer because, of course, as always, I have primer on my face. But I'm just applying this just to ensure that this base makeup will actually be very, very white and won't be transparent because, like, it was only a dollar. So I'm just trying my best to make sure that I will be very white. I'm just trying to ensure that there will be an actual difference. So just continue with that. Then depending on what you feel most comfortable with, you can start blending that in with a brush or your fingers. I'm going to use my fingers just because it's going to warm up the product and I will get a much creamier application. And as you can see, there's like little chunks that came off. So I'm just going to go ahead and work that into my face. It doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, we're going to be applying this face makeup over top of it anyways. And you're a zombie. Your zombie side of your face does not have to look perfect whatsoever. Once you feel like it's blended into your best ability, you can go ahead and take your white cream makeup. So this is just, again, from the Halloween store and it was a dollar. I'm going to be using this foundation brush by Sedona Lace and it's in 727 just so I can get a good application. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the back of my hand and then work it into my face. So... Here we go. It's actually applying pretty well. And I wanted to use a brush to apply this just so I could get an even application, especially in the center of my face, because I want there to be a straight line. I feel pretty ridiculous right now. <laughs> Once you have achieved this straight line down the center of your face, we're going to go ahead and start contouring. So I'm just going to take from my Coastal Sense palette this whole corner right here of dark colors. I'm going to focus my brush more towards the black, and I'm going to contour. Then I'm just going to buff that out. And I applied a little bit too much, so I'm just going back with the white face makeup and adding it on top of it. And this is going to make it look a little bit more natural as well which, as a zombie, you're not very natural looking, but anyways. 
Now with this kabuki brush, I'm going to work into the greens and the yellows, and I'm going to dab that onto my face. I'm just focusing in this area right here because it looks like mold, and we want to look like we're molding. So Now with an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking black and just placing that onto my lid and blending it in. This doesn't have to be perfect at all because we're going to go for a bruised eye look. Now I'm going to be taking this very deep purple and applying that over top of the black. I'm going to take that same purple, mix in with some blue and some black, and I'm going to work it underneath my eye. Next I'm going to be taking this red and I'm going to use it to blend out the eye. And this is just going to create a bruising effect and sleepless nights because we are a zombie and zombies don't sleep or do they? I don't know, I don't think they do you can go ahead and just work this up into your brow bone because we're not going to fill in our eyebrows okay now for the fun part since this was so last minute I wasn't able to get my hands on any wounds or gashes but I seen on YouTube Heather123 she actually made um, gashes and wounds from eyelash glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So you're just going to take the glue and I'm going to make that creepy like ripped face like Joker doll like look. So I'm going to take the glue and just apply it. Then I'm going to take some more glue and apply it to my forehead. Then I'm just going to take a tissue and split it in half and rip off little pieces, roll it into the glue, and just stick it onto my face. Same thing, stick it into the glue, and just apply little pieces because you don't want it to fall off your face. Then once it's dried, you're going to be taking a deep red eyeshadow and you're just going to apply that onto the wounds and mix it in with like a purple just so it looks bloody and I was originally supposed to have fake blood so this would have worked out a lot better but we're going to try this instead the center of this one I'm going to do purple nasty so I just went ahead and took some more of this face cream and mixed it in with the shadow as well as the liquid from my lit kit and I was able to do this and create kind of my own type of blood. So once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. And it looks like rotting flesh is like coming off your face. Now with this black Annabelle eyeliner, I'm just going to go ahead and draw little stitch marks. And these don't have to be precise because they are stitches. So just go ahead and make the lines. And there you have it. Now, last but not least, onto lips. So I'm taking two lipsticks by MAC. The first one is Pink Friday, and it's just a hot pink lipstick. I would use my St. Germain lipstick, but it is haggard. So I'm just going to take this lipstick and put it on the pretty side of my face because ballerinas are pink. Well, normally. Next, I'm going to be taking this MAC lipstick called MLLE. I think it's Mademoiselle. I'm not sure which collection it's from. And it's really super light, like honestly, I don't even know why I bought it. So it kind of looks sickly, so I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the other side. Now I'm going to go into my Coastal Scents palette, and I'm just going to take that red color and purple color, and I'm going to put it on the inside of my lips. Just to make it look really dirty and gross, like I've been eating blood and brains, because that's what zombies do. And there you go, now your zombie look is complete. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the final accessories that came with this costume from 4Play Costumes. And I wanted to apply the gloves last because I definitely didn't want to get zombie makeup on them in case next year I just want to be a pretty princess ballerina. The costume also came with a ribbon which could be worn as a headband or to put as a sock bun but I prefer to wear this crystal encrusted headband from Jo Van Jane just because my face makeup is so scary and ugly I still want it to be feminine and I don't know sock buns kind of give me a headache because I have so much hair so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my neck instead. 
Just to give you guys a better view of the costume, even though I'll be inserting pictures of this costume and the two other costumes that I got from 4Play, from 4PlayCostumes.com. I'm just going to stand up and show you. So it comes with this bodysuit and this frilly frilly tutu. So this is the front. Then I just added these stockings myself because I am going to the Raptors game and it's going to be cold and I don't know, I felt like I needed something to cover my legs. And as you guys can see, this tutu is obnoxiously big. I love it. So that is the back and the front. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it for you guys and I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun going out wearing it. I hope you all had a fun and safe Halloween and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye! Mwah!